Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority app guy, and welcome back to Google Play Weekly. As it has been the last couple of weeks, Google has been dominating the headlines, there is a new Magic the Gathering style card game coming out of Blizzard, and the latest Nova Launcher is now in beta, so you can give it a shot. We have that and a lot more, so let's get started. In our first bit of news this week, Bluestacks has been updated to Ice Cream Sandwich. I know, I know, it's not the most current Android OS, but considering that the platform was running on gingerbread before, it's still a pretty dramatic improvement. In terms of sheer usability, the service remains pretty much as it was. You can still use it to download and use Android applications on your computer. About the only difference you'll notice are apps that you couldn't use in gingerbread, like Blackberry Messenger, can now be used. Earlier this week at BlizzCon, it was confirmed that Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft would be coming to Android and iOS. Blizzard Chief Creative Officer Rob Pardo made the announcement that it would be a free-to-play card game and that it would arrive sometime in quarter two of 2014. It is a card game much like Magic the Gathering and Pokemon, so if you've played those, this shouldn't be too hard to pick up and play. It'll be a while before it hits Android, but it does hit iPad next month, and if you're lucky, you can get in on the closed beta for PC and Mac. Last week we talked about the announcement of a Nova Launcher update that's going to bring a whole lot of Android KitKat goodness to Nova Launcher. It's not ready for prime time yet, but there is a beta that you can try out right now. Among other things, the beta features a lot of KitKat-like features such as folders, the KitKat font, the app drawer, transparent system and nav bars where supported, and others. If you want to give the new Nova a try, you can download it at novalauncher.com beta. As many of you may know, Google bought out Waze over the summer to the tune of $1 billion and has been working ever since to bring Waze into Google Maps. This week, Google Maps has been updated to include Waze data in 46 countries. To get it, you just have to wait. This requires no app updates or anything special. It'll just start working when the rollout of the feature reaches you. A couple of countries that are included are Canada and Italy, among many others. The best news is Maps will now start giving you directions based on this new traffic info, so if there's an accident on your route, it'll redirect you to a different route automatically. In our last bit of news this week, Google Search has been updated to 3.1.8. This is a very interesting update because it not only helps fix bugs in supported devices, but also unsupported devices that may be running the Google Experience Launcher. Included in the update are new Google Now cards, an updated UI, new animations, and numerous fixes. This means that the screwy tablet layout has finally been fixed, along with the random keyboard pop-up issue that tablets have been seeing, and the voice search force closes that everybody's been seeing. It didn't fix everything, but it fixed the worst problems, so if you've been holding off on trying this out, you're all good to go now. So who wants to see some trending applications? As usual, if you want to give any of these a shot, you can find the download links in the written companion in the video description. First up is Dayframe. This awesome and free app takes the idea of a photo frame and adds pretty much every feature you'll ever need in a photo frame app. It's from the same people who brought us HD widgets, which I use religiously on all my devices. If you want to see more, we did a video review and it's on our YouTube channel. Camera Awesome is a reportedly popular iOS camera app that's been ported to Android. So far, reception has been both positive and negative. People seem to enjoy how the app works when it actually works, but hate that the interface is modeled after iOS 7. Also, it's not compatible with a whole lot of Android devices. It is good when it works, so if you don't mind wagering the $3 on whether or not it'll actually work for you, it's worth a try. Even though we're coming up on Thanksgiving, everyone is talking about Christmas for some reason. But with Thanksgiving comes Black Friday and some apps are cashing in early. This includes a new app by Slick Deals called the Black Friday app that, surprise surprise, delivers ads, deals, and coupons for the upcoming Black Friday. If you plan on participating, it's worth checking this app out. The long-awaited discount Google Wallet, I mean ICE's mobile wallet, has finally been released to the masses. For about 90% of people, it's going to be garbage, and it only worsens the longing for Google Wallet 2.0 to come out, but for those privileged few that can use it without any problems, it's a reasonable substitute until then. It's free, so there's no harm in at least trying it out. Last up this week is my personal favorite podcast app called Pocket Casts. It was recently updated to its own version 4.4, which it's dubbing Kentucky Fried Chicken. With the update comes a couple of KitKat-only features and a few more changes and updates that are for everyone. If you need a new podcast app, this is the one we recommend. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy, and this has been Google Play Weekly. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to tune in next week for our next episode. The written companion and the social media links are in the video description. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.